We've gone through crazy videos, weird videos, scary videos, everything that has to do with your teeth. But what if I told you that there are some that actually made me chuckle a little bit? That's right, we found some of the funniest dental TikTok. Let's go ahead and get started. Would you care for some suction? She's like, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, some of y'all, some of y'all really be salivating out there, you know what I'm saying? Me at the dentist. Then it's be like, how was your day? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Yo, I know like interior, your faces are all like, you're just like, why are you doing this to me again? Again? I don't feel the dentist. Dang it, I'm bringing one in there with it. <laughs> all right, bro. Looking good. We're done. Yeah, we're all done, man. What's up? There you go. This is for you. You want me to eat this? Yeah, man. Why the candy. Yeah, sure. Just candy. All right. All right. Man. That was a test, dude. Which you failed. Yo, imagine if I did this to my. I should do this to my patients, like every time they. Hey, we got your braces on. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a piece of candy here because you did such a good job. And they go to eat. I'm just like, no, don't do that. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good tactic. I might try that. All right, what do we got? Never let them next year no move. My, whoa, my gosh, they just spit it out. I'm not gonna lie, my dentist does that. I'm leaving, I'm finding a new dentist right now. Yo, imagine if I did that to somebody, just was like, all right, I'm ready for my appointment. <laughs> oh, don't tell me he puts it in his own mouth. My man just popped that thing in there like a piece of chewing gum. Like he's just gonna go chewing on a zirconia crown. Maybe I should do an opposite day where you treat me and we see how far you get before one of my teeth gets pulled out. Let's, yeah, maybe not do that. Front desk, we got. Wanna live the way you live. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. <laughs> That's so true. Like, why do we put ourselves in this position? Because a lot of you guys don't understand this, but dental assistants have a tough job, man. They gotta pretty much do everything. And this right here is what a lot of them look like at the end of the day. So shout out to all my dental assistants over there because I feel your pain. Because what's going on here is they got an impression. More than likely, these are some of the worst things in the world. Because I tell you what, you give somebody a goopy impression like that and they will throw up everywhere and then they will throw up on you. And the, the crazy part is you can't do anything about it. You can't take it out because it'll ruin the impression. You gotta sit there and hold it and force this person to do this while they throw up on you or else you're gonna have to do it again and it will be miserable the second time as miserable as it was the first time so you just gotta get thrown up on point you have a dentist in 20 minutes oh my gosh this is <laughs> dude oh my gosh dude, how much toothpaste did that guy use like how many tubes of toothpaste does it take to cover your to cover your face like that that's equally funny and disgusting at the same time but this doesn't help i'm gonna be straight up with you this does not help because you have calculus on your see you start up with plaque which is soft and gunky it's like wet cement right and then we wipe that wet cement off it's perfectly fine as long as you do that every day but if you leave it 24 to 48 hours that cement will harden and turn into calculus and then you're gonna need something like a jackhammer or a dental scaler at your six month cleaning to remove that so even though you're gonna brush really hard and floss and get the plaque off you that calculus gingivitis everything else is still gonna be there so we know weird things people do at the dentist okay, alex me oh yeah <laughs> that, well, why do you why do you guys forget you it's like a stressful situation you just forget you okay we're gonna be in room number two this one hmm <laughs> I think these people are just straight up calling you dumb. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like most people do not do this type of stuff But if you do you're probably a little low on the IQ. Okay, so this tooth right here is gonna be cracked since I took an x-ray We're gonna have to do a crown. You can't just do a filling. I mean to be fair Most people don't understand that process if you do crack a tooth You can't just do a little filling if you crack the tooth in half We gotta we gotta zip off the whole thing and add a crown in there. So I wouldn't expect you to do it Okay, it looks like you're due for x-rays today. So let's get those first Actually, we don't need to do those. I know there's nothing going on in there. I do get that. I do get that sometimes. They're like, oh, no, we don't need x-rays. I'm good. I'm good. You can tell it's clean. You you look at it in your eye. If only my eyes were x-rays, that would be okay. But I got to look inside and see if there's any cavities going on. Colgate releases new phase nine. <laughs> Dude, that's so true. Why is it? Why is that? It's like every time you see a review, it's always nine out of ten. Where's the, where's the one out of ten? Who's the one out of ten? But I tell you right now, the only dental company with ten out of ten that is recommending is something nice. My oral care company with the best water flossers in the market and braces, floss picks, and regular floss picks. We got toothpaste, everything else coming. I'm telling you, they're amazing. So go check them out. Somethingnicecompany.com. Let's get back into it. All right. Bro thought it. Oh my gosh, he's asking for a syringe, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, imagine that. I give my patients hearts all the time, man. I love you guys. Just, uh, you know, if you see this, a little half heart, 
you know, watch out, because you're probably about to get a shot. Okay, your dental crown is done. I'll be 1500 at the door. Hey, if I don't got the money right now, can I put it on my tab? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Open up real quick. <laughs> Dang, come on. I'm not showing in here aggressive. The worst one is... Uh, is uh, when you guys like, you just assume we're all rich. You're like, we got, I got half a million dollars in student loan debt. I am not rich. Woo! This is actually, do you oh, know like, her? Do you know who that is? She's the She's like, wait, you, me, you. <laughs> is that me? Is that you? That's hilarious. It's almost like that Spider-Man meme where they're like looking at each other and they're like pointing. If you're a twin, comment down below. Let me know if it gets weird being a twin. How we think we sit. Dude, we do not. I guarantee you right now that this is how we think we sit, right? And this is how we really sit. We're like all hunched over, like doing stuff like this. My back hurts so, so bad after a long day um, in the office, but let's see, let's see what they say. How we think we sit. How do we really sit? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. This is like literally like, I, and I feel bad sometimes because I feel like I'm like all up over the person I'm working on. But like, bro, I gotta get in there. I gotta see what I'm doing so I can make sure it's correct. Okay, give me a second. We're gonna be off Can I also have a small blues ra blue raspberry slushie? A sausage McMuffin? Ah, uh, the sausage McMuffin. Okay, two root canals. Not a good look. I remember when I was a kid and I was in the dental chair. They would come in and like pick at your mouth and they'd be. And then um, they let you know that you've got two cavities. That was probably one of the most stressful moments of my young career, you know, but you're just being a kid, you know, stressful. Let me know down below, do you have zero cavities or have you ever had a cavity? Because I bet you it's probably 50-50. It, it better be more people without cavities actually, because I've been teaching y'all for like four years now. So no excuses anymore. When your dentist made a regrettable lunchtime decision. Oh, dude, I have felt that before. <laughs> Did he just suck up his part? I don't think I have ever. Yo, that is so smart though. I've definitely been in a situation where I've had like some gas and like my stomach was rumbling and I was just like, bro, I need to get out. I'm like sweating over here. I'm like, I gotta get through this. Me and the dentist. So, how are you? Does she really want me to answer right now? Oh, <laughs> great, yeah. great. I like Did that. Did you handle the, the storm up. okay? Yep, she actually wants me to answer. Great, great. We handled it well, too. <laughs> it actually, though, we do have this one friend who has a daughter about your age. It's always the daughter your age, too. It's like they're always like, oh, we gotta know somebody your age that does this and that and this. Also, the other weird part is like when they look in your eyes, too, it's like you, you're like, you, you like, you want to look at them for like two seconds, you're like, you just want to get a quick look into their eyes, but then they're looking back at your eyes. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Shot him five times in the chest. And Please sit down. Shot him five times and he's in critical condition. I mean, she was just lying in wait. And what when he got the... home, pew, pew, pew. And just, he was donezo. I mean, I think he's in critical condition. They had to airlift him and everything. I mean, I was, drugs had to be involved. I was not I expecting this term. Yo, I'm just saying, we're numb to all things as dentists. I'm just going to be straight up with like, We've seen some stuff. Okay, so nothing really bothers us, but we forget how uh, how young and innocent you guys are. Dennis stabs gun. <laughs> You're bleeding because you don't floss. It is true. You are bleeding because you don't floss. Because, well, you don't floss. Don't try and even lie to me. You got the gingivitis all up in there, and that's going to make it bleed. <laughs> is that the dad? No way. Oh my gosh, she's so shy. Look at the person coming in to check on him. That would traumatize me. And if you guys don't know, in dental school, when you start to learn how to be a dentist, you got to practice on dummies first. We call them busters. They're creepy. I'm not going to lie. But then you have to eventually work on a real patient and you start with something basic like a dental cleaning. I'm not going to lie. My brother actually was my first patient and he tried to do the exact same thing. I'm not going to lie. But I was like, I swear, if you do it one more time, I'm going to stab you in the eye with this Explorer. I promise. You're not going to be able to ever see me. Ever. Ever. Yo. And a vocal cord. What? 
Don't worry, you won't Yo, that's a creepy thing. dentist. I don't know if you've ever been to a dentist looking like that. Yo, I used to think, like, as a kid, the dentist was so scary, and that's why. That's why. Because we saw cartoons like this that were just creepy. Like, what? What do you... This doesn't even make any sense to me anymore. See, it was their fault. They're the reason you're scared of dentists, not me, because I'm making dentistry fun and make you guys not scared of dentists anymore. Jay Quellen. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I was thinking. When you practice... Jay Quellen at? Jay Quellen! Where you at, Jay Quellen? Uh, do you mean Jacqueline? Yo, why do you, and it's always like the people with the easy names that you pronounce wrong. It's like, but I'm not gonna lie, we got a lot of weird names. Some of you guys are naming your kids some weird stuff out there, like like Lay's Potato Chips as the middle name. Like, why? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Stop it. Dingle bongle, dingle dangle, yickety doo, yickety da, ping pong, lippy tappy too ta. Yo, I never thought about that. Like, I understand that language so easily because I'm a dentist, obviously. But I could see how you guys would be like, wait, what is? What did you just say? Are you about to stab me or something? Or is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Do I have a cavity, not a cavity? Am I healthy, not? All right, your teeth look good. Thank I'm you. I've been wrecked. brushing every day. Quick question, have you been flossing? Nope, I hate flossing. <gasps> First off, there's a reason for this. And that's because you have two different types of bacteria in your mouth. You have bacteria that cause the carotids and you have bacteria between your teeth that are completely different bacteria that cause periodontal disease, gingivitis, and bone loss. You don't want those things, do you? So yes, you may not have cavities, but you could be getting bone loss. You could be having perio issues and a lot of other things if you don't floss. And so that's why we're so hard on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's only seven. <laughs> He's only seven. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I do wish I could do that, but that would be illegal. And battery. Oh, when the patient comes, brushes their teeth for one minute. What? First off, thank you. Why is it so hard to just brush your teeth in before coming where we got, hey, you have mashed potatoes in your mouth right now. Go brush them. I don't want to see that. I don't want that nastiness in here. Let's see what it is. This audience is you right here. It don't smell like roaches in here or nothing. Oh my gosh. And look at that. That's hilarious. Girl, how did you get sparkles in the back? That's true. You know, we have good patients and we have bad patients. And and for the good patients out there, I appreciate you. You know what also makes you a good patient is the fact that you liked and subscribe. And also make sure to check out my oral care company, Something Nice. We have the best products in the planet. I promise you. Also, watch this video. I think you'll like it. Bye.